Hello everyone, this is Anel Kangawala and today I'll be presenting to you my research based on assessing the antimicrobial activity of polyphenols extracted from brown algae, Saccharino latissima, Fucus serratus, and Laminaria digitata. So brown algae generates a wide array of com uh, phenolic compounds, including ferrotannins. These are exclusively generated by this kind of family, so that means that they cannot be found in any other algae family like red algae or green algae. So, fluorotannins have also been found to have antimicrobial activity. So, uh, successfully extracting them and assessing for their antimicrobial activity could potentially lead to identifying a good therapeutic compound, which would be useful against the growing antibiotic resistance problem of bacteria. So, the methodology was getting the sample, uh, making a liquid-liquid extraction, and then concentrating it. Then a part of the grid was sent to the fractionation to the MPLC fractionation. So uh, the crude with the fractionations could be analyzed for total phenolic compounds and scavenging activity. Then the fractionations were used for minimum inhibitory concentration, disk diffusion, and UPLC analysis. Moving on to the, uh, the results, we have that the phenolic, the FNC assay and the DPPH assay both had correlating results, having the highest values for Fucus serratus and Fucus serratus 3 fractionation. Then we have the UPLC analysis with picture A portraying uh, a peak of fluoroglucanol as a standard and picture B having a representative picture of the fractionated samples without the identifiable peak. Then we move on to antimicrobial analysis with the MIG assay not uh, presenting inhibition of uh, of growth from most of the strains, with exception of S. aureus. More specifically, there was inhibition only on Fucus serratus 3 and Saccharino latissima 2 fractionations. These results, though, did not correlate with a disk diffusion assay. As you can see here, these pictures are representative long plates of the strains. The most specifically, they are S. aureus long plates, so you can see that uh, there should be zone of inhibitions, but they are just not present in it. Moving on to discussion, it was found that uh, as it is for the FNC and the DPHSA, both had a, a greatly differing uh, amounts from the crude to the fractionations. This may indicate that there was a considerable loss of phenolic compounds in the fractionation procedure. Then on the UPLC analysis, uh, we not only have a non-identifiable peak for fluoroglucanol, but we also do not have unknown peaks. The, this may indicate that whatever was detected in the DPPH and FNC assay may just be readable at a different wavelength as we use 266 nanometers. Finally, we found that the phenolic compounds present in, in Fucus serratus and Saccharina latissima possess antimicrobial activity. Moreover, uh, the samples from Saccharina latissima appear to be more effective on inhibiting bacterial growth as they were considerably lower in phenolic content and scavenging activity. For future directions, we have an improvement in the fractionation protocol to avoid the mentioned loss in compounds. Then we have uh, increasing the volume of the seeding uh, for the disk for the discs in the disk diffusion assay as 25 microliters appeared not to be enough so that results could correlate. And finally, we have that further analysis on fluorotannin content from Fucus serratus and Saccharina latissima using an UPLC analysis with a wider range of standards could potentially lead to identifying therapeutic compounds. That would be it. Uh, thank you for your time.